This year's Asia-Pacific Amateur Championship at New Zealand's Royal Wellington Golf Club sees the welcome return of two former winners, both wearing the colours of Team China. Guan Tian Lang made headlines around the world when he lifted the trophy in 2012 as a 14-year-old, and Jin Cheng repeated the feat three years later in Hong Kong, with the 2017 champion guaranteed a start at Augusta National in next year's Masters Tournament and a spot at Carnoustie in the 147th Open. Both Jin and Guan are well aware of how your life can change with success at the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship. Winning this tournament brought me to Augusta and played at the Masters. I mean, it's one of the four majors of the year. Being able to play at that stage really changed my life or changed my golf career and especially at the age of 18, it's just unforgettable. I think the way they do this tournament is it's probably now it became one of the best amateur tournaments in the world now. Um, definitely give the most support and benefits to all the amateur players and they play in a huge role to just um, growing the game. It could be easy for someone who has already won the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship and played in the Masters to get a little complacent. Not these two. Their experience at Augusta National showed how much work is still to be done to take the next step and graduate to the professional ranks. Both are now enrolled at college in the United States, Jin at USC and Guan at Arizona. I got to see the world's best and how far away am I like is myself from them and there's a lot there's a lot of things for me to improve and that actually motivates me to work harder now. Like obviously I don't hit the ball very far during the masters and struggling with that golf course a little bit on the lengthwise and greens go hard and the pros are good putters. I play with a um, uh, bunch of different players in the practice round and obviously um, learn a lot from how they play, um, how they practice. I played with Tom Watson and Brent Crenshaw. Crenshaw, super nice man, and also play with Tiger and Dustin in the practice rounds. So it's just an awesome experience. Having two Chinese players winning the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship has also had a huge impact on developing golf in their home country. That type of knock-on effect is one of the primary reasons why the Masters Tournament and the RNA began their collaboration in the first place. Hopefully I did motivate some young golfers like to follow my step and and I really want to contribute to Chinese golf and I mean we started late as a country but it's better late than never I hope. I mean the game has been growing and the government Chinese Golf Association has pro been providing a lot of support and we're having a lot of opportunities that other play like, uh, players from other countries that uh, don't have so I really appreciate what my country's golf association do for all the players. Just for this tournament, the first time I played, it was only three of us. And now we got six strong players. Um, we got the same team as last year, but we um, all grow and learn from last year's experience and from other tournaments too. So I think we are all better players now, so just stronger team. So one of us have a like, um, really good chance to win this week. Augusta is the dream of every golfer, I believe. And for us, having a tournament that could have could brought us there is just incredible. Like just living a dream and just having the opportunity. It's just great. So I'm really thankful to all the sponsors. Day one of the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship at Royal Wellington Golf Club in New Zealand. And with the winner awarded a guaranteed start at both the 2018 Masters Tournament and the 147th Open at Carnoustie, there was plenty to play for for the 116 players in the field. New Zealand is hosting the region's biggest amateur event for the first time and the home team did their fans proud. James Ansis hit the very first shot of the championship on his way to an opening round of 71 
he's one of four Kiwis in the top 11. Nick Voak is the best of them after firing a fine 67. No bogeys on his card and he's in a share of second place with four other players. One of those is Lloyd Jefferson Go from the Philippines who had six birdies in his round, this at 17, one of his best. Shot of the day honours went to Japan's Sean Maruyama, who hold this at seven for his fourth birdie in a row. The son of former PGA Tour star Shigeki sits in joint second place and right in contention for the title. It was a pretty good day all round for players with serious golfing pedigree. Minwoo Lee is the younger brother of current LPGA star Minji. The 19-year-old Australian is also a former US junior amateur champion. And that form was definitely on display around Royal Wellington as he joined the crowd at minus four. But the man they are all chasing is Minwoo's teammate, Shea Wools Cobb, who was on fire on day one. The in-form Aussie raced to the top of the leaderboard with a spectacular outward nine of 29. After starting on the 10th, this putt for Eagle at 18 completed the equal lowest nine holes in the history of the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship. Things settled down a little on the back nine, but there were still plenty of quality shots. This tee shot at three went close to being an ace. The 21 year old most certainly the one to beat after signing for a brilliant 63. So it's Wolves Cobb by four from Mariyama, Lee, Voak and Go. China's Andy Zhang is in a big group at two under alongside teammate Lin Yujin. Nineteen-year-old Min Wu Li arrives at the 2017 Asia Pacific Amateur Championship with high hopes, as he knows all about winning big-time events. The 2016 US Junior Amateur Champion is part of a strong Australian contingent of six, all eager to emulate their fellow countryman Curtis Luck, who was victorious last year in Korea. With starts at the Masters Tournament and for the first time the Open on offer to the winner, Minwoo is well aware there's a lot to play for at Royal Wellington. It's a big privilege. Um, this is my first time playing in the Asia Pacific and um, there's a big hype around it uh, from the other Aussie boys that came through. So yeah, Curtis winning it last year, it's, um, it's, it's going to be pretty big to um, follow, it, follow in his footsteps. So yeah, it should be, um, should be a good opportunity and hopefully it go go well. Just like luck, Minwoo hails from Perth, Western Australia. So he's taken the opportunity to ask Curtis all about his year as both the Asia Pacific and US Amateur Champion, with the obvious highlight being his trip to Augusta National. From Curtis's experience, you know, everything's special, you know, from stepping on the, um, stepping in the parking lot and being on the, um, being on the range, you know, uh, he said it's special and, you know, I, th I think that too, so. Also with the big pros, um, everyone there is a great player, so. Yeah, and also past players as well, so yeah, it will be special. Winning last year's US Junior Amateur propelled Min Woo into the golfing spotlight. He joined names like three-time winner Tiger Woods and two-time champion Jordan Spieth on the prestigious trophy. But the rain-interrupted event in Tennessee meant he was forced to wait a little longer for glory than he expected. It happened really quick. I was like four down with like nine holes to play and, you know, it, just, we had a rain delay and I just, yeah, it just turned around really quickly and then we had another, I had another uh, one hour rain delay for a four footer to win. So, um, yeah, after I came back and held the part, you know, it was a special moment. Um, and also mum being there, uh, I don't really see her that much. So it was special to uh, do it in front of her. Minwoo's victory also created golfing history as his sister Minji won the girls edition in 2012. 21-year-old Minji is now a star on the LPGA Tour and has already won three times. Having a successful golfing sibling certainly has its benefits, including some healthy competition when they play together. I FaceTimed her right after I won. Um, 
When I was signing the flags for the volunteers, uh, I was FaceTiming her and she congratulated me and you know, it's, it's, it's special to be the first brother and sister uh, combination to, to win the USGA Junior. So having a sister there, you know, everyone's saying there's a lot of pressure and all that, but I think there is a little bit of pressure, but it's, it's, having, it's, uh, it's fun having my sister there. You know, she gives me advice and I give her advice as well. Before we play, she says, let's play off the same tees, let's do everything the same, men's tees, let's go. Then um, after I hit my drive 80 past her, she gets uh, upset and then we have to change the rules and yeah, she, gets, she just gets upset that I hit it so far and um, I end up beating her. So yeah, she won the first one, I won the second one and hopefully third one. It goes without saying, Minwoo is hoping to follow in the footsteps of his older sister and have great success in the professional ranks. But he's also aware that will be a considerable challenge and he needs to be fully prepared for whenever that decision is made. I would like to turn pro um, pretty early, um, but also be ready at the same time. You don't want to be too rushed. So these tournaments always help. You know, the ne um, next few months I got pro tournaments, um, the Australian Open and um, New South Wales Open uh, and that would always help to uh, get more experience under, the, under my belt and um, yeah, hopefully um, prepare me for the pro level. Another picture perfect day in Wellington, New Zealand for round two of the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship. There's 116 players from 38 member nations of the Asia Pacific Golf Confederation teeing it up and all are chasing the priceless guaranteed starts at the Masters and the Open that await the winner. Nick Vogt came in as the highest ranked Kiwi on the World Amateur Golf Ranking and after rounds of 67 and 72, he's in the mix at three under. So is Sean Maruyama, who is ably following in the footsteps of his famous father. Shigeki Maruyama won three times on the PGA Tour. Sean is right in contention to become the second Japanese winner of the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship. China has already won this event on two occasions, and Yu Jin Lin is well placed heading into the weekend to make it three. The left-hander earned himself shot of the day honours when he produced this on nine, his final hole of the day for an unlikely eagle two. He's in outright second. Shay Woolscob began in a blaze of glory on Thursday, going out in 29 shots and establishing a four-shot lead. Things were a bit more difficult on a windy day too. But the 21-year-old Australian is still right in contention. He birdied 18 and signed for a 74. He's once again in the final group. Lloyd Jefferson Go from the Philippines started in a share of second place. His Friday round was a little on the adventurous side. An eagle, three birdies, four bogeys and a double, all of which added up to a 1 over 72 and a share of fourth place. The man they are all chasing is Australia's Min Wu Lee. The 19-year-old, who is the younger brother of LPGA star Minji, is also a former US junior amateur champion. He showed plenty of that pedigree with a sensational finish to his round. One over for the day with three to play, he first of all rolled this in for birdie on 16. After driving the par 4 17, he chipped and putted to pick up another shot. Late birdies are always a nice addition to the scorecard, but they were nothing compared to this outrageous eagle attempt on the par 5 18. Min Wu charging into the outright lead after completing a second round 68. So it's Lee by one from Eugen Lin with Wolves Cobb in third. Shay and Min Wu are actually roommates this week, so they have plenty to talk about ahead of what is shaping up to be a thrilling day three at the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship. Another perfect spring day at Royal Wellington Golf Club, 
for the third round of the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship. And there was plenty of movement on the leaderboard. One of those going in the right direction was New Zealand's Kerry Mountcastle. The Wellington local is actually a full-time electrician and took six weeks off work to prepare for the tournament. That proved to be a very good decision. He held this at 14 for Eagle and he's in a tie for fifth. News wasn't so good for teammate Nick Vogt. He started strongly with an outward nine of 33. But things fell apart on the back nine as he came home in a disappointing 40 strokes. Round one leader Shea Wolves Cobb also had his ups and downs. He doubled the par three 11 after a very wayward tee shot. But he more than made up for it with this curling putt for Eagle at the last. He's three back. Former US junior amateur champion Min Woo Lee started the day with a one-shot lead after finishing with an unlikely eagle on Friday. There were once again some spectacular moments. The 19-year-old Australian had an eagle at four and also picked up a couple of birdies. But they were cancelled out by four bogeys. The end result, an even pass 71. He'll tee it up in the final round alongside a pair of teammates from China. Andy Zhong made a terrible start to his day, double bogeying the second. But his bounce back was very impressive. Shots like this into 12 helped him reel off six birdies in an eight hole stretch. And with his approach shots dialed in, as some around him faltered, he charged into a share of second place with a fine round of 67. Andy and Min Wu will start Sunday one shot behind Yujin Lin. The 17-year-old left-hander had a bit of a roller coaster day, three early birdies, and he was off to a flyer. But he gave all those shots back with a messy triple bogey at six. Yu Jin showed plenty of composure to regain control of his round and proceeded to shoot a flawless back nine of 32, including an up and down birdie from the sand at 18. He signed for a two under 69, making him the only player in the field with three sub-70 rounds for the week. So it's Lin by a shot from teammate Zhang and Australia's Lee. Shea Wool's Cobb is still right in contention, while there are four members of Team New Zealand within seven strokes of the lead, all who are ready for a big Sunday finish on home soil. Ideal scoring conditions for the final day of the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship at New Zealand's Royal Wellington Golf Club. And for one lucky player from the starting field of 116, it would become an unforgettable Sunday afternoon because the awards awaiting the winner are the opportunities of a lifetime, an invitation to the Masters Tournament next April and an exemption into the 147th Open at Carnoustie. The Kiwis were desperate for a hometown win, but it wasn't to be this week. Royal Wellington member Daniel Hillier had the best finish for Team New Zealand, carding a 68 to tie for sixth. Australia's Min Woo Lee started the day one off the lead, but the 2016 US Junior Amateur Champion struggled to find his best form, and his hopes ended after a wild tee shot at the drivable par 4 14th was never actually found. Minwu did end the day on a high note with a chip in for birdie at 18. 2015 champion Jin Cheng knows exactly what winning the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship can do for your career. After competing in the 2016 Masters, he's now playing golf on scholarship at the University of Southern California. The 19-year-old started too far back to win but a course record 65 vaulted him into the top five and showed exactly what he's capable of. China's Yu Jin Lin began with a one-shot lead and that position clearly agreed with him as he made a brilliant start to his round. He almost holed his approach at six. Another birdie came at eight as he made the turn in 33 with no bogeys on the card. 
But playing partner Andy Zhong matched him shot for shot. He birdied four of the first six holes and went out in 32. That left the teammates tied for the lead heading into the back nine. And as the rest of the contenders slipped away, the pair played outstanding golf on the run home. Zhang with another pinpoint approach to pick up a shot at 13. Oh. Lin answered straight back with a birdie of his own, thanks to a very tidy up and down from the sand at 14. In a fitting finish to a sensational Asia Pacific Amateur Championship, it all came down to the final two holes. With the scores tied on the par 4 17th tee, Yu Jin stepped up and used his tremendous power to its full advantage. The big hitting left-hander bombing his drive onto the green. A simple up and down resulted in a tap in birdie and a one-shot lead with one to play. Zhang fought hard up the par five last, knocking his second onto the front of the green to keep his hopes alive. But his Chinese teammate pretty much slammed the door with his reply. After hitting another huge tee shot down the middle, Lin had a five iron in his hand for his second and proceeded to go straight at the flag. After watching Zhang miss his long eagle try, it was only fitting that the 17-year-old stepped up and successfully hold his putt to complete a grandstand finish. Yu Jin Lin the winner by three after a course record equaling 65. He now has a very busy year of golf to look forward to as he's off to the Masters Tournament and the 147th Open at Carnoustie. Really excited, I'm really honoured to play the Masters in the, the British Open next year. So I'm um, just uh, really excited and happy that I actually won this, this tournament and uh, have a chance to compete with the best golfers in the world next year. So Lin's victory completes a spectacular week for Team China, who claimed four of the top five places on the leaderboard. Min Wu Li produced a very impressive finish in his debut at the tournament, but to the victor go the spoils. Congratulations to Yu Jin Lin, winner of the 2017 Asia Pacific Amateur Championship.